world's biggest animals to ever live. Think about the biggest animals you can possibly think of. Some people might say giraffes, some people might say elephants. But today, we're going to be talking about creatures residing deep in the sea and on land that would leave you screaming for your life. Brace yourself for the ride. 1.5 million years ago, the blue whale was cooking something in the sea depths that would make it forever memorable. As time went by, the encounters the people made with this whale proved exactly what it was up to. It had been taking its sweet evolutionary time to eat, drink, sleep, and bulk up. It grew so large that it's earned itself the title of the largest animal to ever live in the entire world. And let me tell you, there is nothing small at all about this creature. Even the heart of a blue whale is said to weigh similar to a car. And unlike the king of the land, elephants, this mammal towers over it, weighing up to 400,000 tons. That means it would take up to 33 well-fed adult elephants to win a game of tug against a single blue whale. It's also an astounding 98 feet long and can feed on 8,000 pounds of food a day. Luckily, its preferred food includes things like krill and small fish. Another thing you might not know about the blue whale is that it's actually the loudest animal on Earth. The whistle of a blue whale is so loud that a jet engine is said to be just a mere shadow of it. So when the mama blue whale is serving some krill for dinner, you better not be late or else your ears are going to be destroyed. Coming up next is a slithery crawler that some have claimed could take down a dinosaur. I think most of us can agree, snakes are just creepy. If it's not the slithery skin shedding ever so often, it's those tongues that are split in the center. What's the deal with that forked tongue anyway? Now, even worse is coming across a snake that could be bigger than Goliath. Despite the chances today being zero, there was a time that nothing was safe from this giant. It was commonly referred to as the Titanoboa. From scientific research, this serpent could easily be the length of a school bus. In addition to its 1,300 kilogram weight, there was no way that it spent every single day of its life on land. Why? Mostly because only animals that live underwater can thrive at that weight. When it was on land though, it was believed to roam the jungle of South America. If you still can't picture how big this snake was, let me help you put it into perspective. Just take the largest snake alive today, a green anaconda, and the Titanoboa, and place them in a boxing ring. The Titanoboa would win the match by a clean KO in a few seconds. Drum rolls, please! Here comes the deadliest dinosaur to walk the Earth. He's heavy, he's large, and he's so scary, you'll scream your soul out of your body. He's none other than the Spinosaurus, who lived more than 100 million years ago on our planet Earth. He could be distinguished by his long size that measures as big as a school bus. They were also as large as an elephant. And I can promise you, if you were around then, you were to be its lunch. There's nowhere you could hide from this. It could run faster than you'd imagine. Mother Nature was unnecessarily very generous when giving the Spinosaurus its traits. The Spinosaurus was a vicious predator on land, but also in the water. It had padded feet with a, wade, with a wide whale-like hip and crocodile teeth, which made it able to hunt in the water just as good as it did on land. Argentinosaurus was discovered in 1993. It was found after a ranch owner found a large, strange piece of wood, supposedly, on his piece of land. Stoked that he'd be able to break it into many pieces of firewood that would keep him warm during the winter, he called all his friends and neighbors to see how he discovered a large piece of wood underground. Among those visitors were random, curious people, but also a good few of scientists also filtered in. These scientists were the one who broke the unfortunate news to the rancher that his piece of wood was actually a massive fossil bone. I don't think he was mad at the discovery though, because he now owned one of the most precious things on Earth, a dinosaur's massive fossil. Using this fossil, scientists managed to estimate its size. 
measuring a staggering 131 feet in height and weighing up to 100 tons in weight. That made it the largest dinosaur in existence. And just when you thought the guy in the Walmart scooter was the biggest thing you've ever seen, some scientists suggest that Argentinosaurus might have been the largest land animal of all time. A fish whose name often precedes its reputation is the whale shark. This is because many people confuse this fish with a whale, but actually unlike its name, it is a shark. Many divers, explorers, and adventurers have been taking videos with this scary monster. However, that's not the reason it made its way onto our list today. Its massive size is what earned it that right, as it measures a solid 69 feet in length, making it by far the closest competitor to the blue whale. Its 150-ton weight makes it look even larger than it is. And quite possibly the most spectacular thing about this shark is its massive mouth that almost looks like a sinkhole opening up to an entire multiverse or something. And a very peculiar thing is, despite the size, its diet consists of microorganisms and small fish. You may now take your sigh of relief. There have been endless sailor stories that reaped fear and treachery from the hearts of its listeners, but quite possibly the most popular one was the story of the Kraken, where there was a big squid-like monster that terrorized ships and sailors alike. Some say that it had such long tentacles it could take a hold of the entire ship and thereby bring it down with a single pull. Even though these are simply folk tales, there is a bit of truth in them. The supposed kraken of the sea that lives in those stories is better known as the colloidal squid, which lives in the deep, deep waters of the ocean. It's around 46 feet in length and weighs up to 1,200 tons. It's honestly a monster that no one wants to encounter, as its tentacles do have very powerful suckers. It feeds on small fish and leads a very reclusive life, making it a very rare capture or feature on any sailing or deep sea expedition. However, there have been cases of sightings whenever this gigantic squid fights with a sperm whale in the deep ocean. It's a very intense scene, and both animals are usually left injured. As the name suggests, this aquatic reptile is sure to give you a never-ending ick feeling just by the look of it. It is nothing short of massive and ugly. Its skin looked like it had an episode of really bumpy goosebumps. Strangely, it had a small head and was toothless. This suggested that it preferred suction feeding to any other type of feeding. It's, however, unknown what it exactly fed on. Though it was harmless, you'd still be shaking like crazy if you spotted an 86-foot long reptile in the water. This also means it was in close competition with the blue whale, coming within about 20 feet of the giant dominators of the sea. You might be wondering where the name baleen comes from. It actually comes from the mouth tools this whale has instead of its teeth. Now, I'm not sure if tools makes much sense, but it's actually exactly that. Baleen sharks don't have teeth in their mouth, but instead have baleen, which they use to sieve their favorite foods. Kind of like a grater or a filter. It's 58 feet long and is massive in size. So massive that once a group of people saw a deceased one floating in the water, they mistook it for a capsized boat. It was only when they moved closer that they realized it's rotting flesh. Once again, we have the king of all king sharks, the Megalodon. You've probably heard many terrifying stories about it, but I don't think you've heard our version. So apparently, this shark can grow up to 65 feet in length and weighed up to 70 tons. Because of this large size, it needed to eat big animals. That included big fish, sharks, whales, and even dinosaurs. It could gobble up just about anything. Its mouth was so big, it could open up to 3.5 meters wide and had about 600 teeth in it. Could you imagine the dentist bill on that? For kind of a fun scale, that means the Megalodon could swallow two adult humans side by side. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. 
As we all know, the T-Rex is one of the largest and most dangerous animals ever. No one could challenge its wrath, except it seems the largest crocodile species that came too close to claiming victory on the T-Rex. With prehistoric crocodiles measuring up to 30 feet long, it would have been an awesome battle to have watched from afar. Now that is pretty darn crazy, but also just the best way to summarize the end of our video.